Greetings, welcome back once again everyone. Zar here with Nerf Rival Group Washington State. And today we're going to be conducting a review of the Dart Zone Tomcat with all these tactical add-ons that I have added. I finally got all my parts here and I got everything ready to go so it's time to get this review done. Everything fits really nice in this case here once it's broken down so that makes it really easy to carry. First of all we got this bandolier here. This holds 20 short darts and I have a rival battle case here with mega darts in it. The Dart Zone Tomcat can shoot Mega with uh, the right barrel attachment, so this is really good for battle. Gives me another 20 darts I can load into the drum. We have uh, even more on board capacity with this awesome 30 dart short dart holder. This is courtesy of R Mods. I'll have a link in the video description below to all of the products here. So if you want to look into them for your Tomcat, you can purchase them as well. So this. Uh, did not come with an option for a Picatinny slot. So I had to get creative to figure out how to get it on this blaster with a Picatinny rail. And what I did was I took some adhesive Velcro here and I lined it along the inside here. And I took some on the blaster here as well. And you can see I've lined it here. And I've also put a little bit of a strip of electrical tape on top which makes this fit a little more snug. I could have got a 3D print and customization done for it but uh, this is much cheaper and much more effective. And it is definitely very snug. That is a tight fit right there. And it's not going anywhere, as you can see. You can shake it, you can rattle it, you can hold it upside down, and it's not coming off. And this is why I needed the Picatinny riser, was to rise the optic up above this. So this increases your onboard capacity to 80 darts, which is really, really nice for a short dart Springer primary. I've got your Axion RGB optic here. This is a really nice red, green, blue sight. Dot side gets it done. Uh, the cosmetic mods you can see here. I've got this speckle silver in these slots here. The Tomcat has a lot of these really nice slots that allowed me to line up and cut out these decals just uh, almost perfectly. Not quite, but gives it that little battle worn look. Uh, the cheek rest looks really good here. This is removable. I added masking tape to the end of the stock here because it tended to slip, and this tape is slippery, so this tape is not slippery. So now when you shoulder it, it no longer slips, which is great. Uh, we got our stubby foregrip here by Ender Designs from Triangle Fabrications on Etsy. I believe they're working with Captain Slug. This is much nicer than any grip I've tried with this blaster. It did take some sanding to get on here because there is no customization yet for a Tomcat. So I had to choose the Nexus Pro customization, which is the closest thing you can get to this. And after some sanding and getting the key in here, this is so much nicer. So much better of a prime than a VFG. I also tried the Worker S grip, which was okay, but this one is much better. I do hear some foam flingers talking about fatigue from this blaster when you're using it for too long. With this grip, that helps quite a bit in helping with that prime. We have here our stock front optic. This is actually the rear optic I use in this loadout design because it just kind of fits perfectly on right there. And it slots almost perfectly right into there. And yeah, you can see right there. And it looks uh, looks pretty tactical, cool, I'd say. This this look here just looks so good on this blaster, having the extra darts on there. Okay, so next we have our 3D printed solid sights. These are really cool sights. They match this blaster, and uh, they can give you another option if you're looking for a lighter type of loadout perhaps without the extra dart holder. Oh, it's allergy day all, forgive me, we're dealing with a lot of smoke and dust in the air here. I've got my dump pouch here full of short darts which uh, does cinch up so they're not moving around in there. And in here I've got our extra barrels for this blaster. We'll be demonstrating these shortly. This barrel is for shooting missiles, this barrel is for firing mega, I've got an AccuStrike in there and this is a shotgun rival barrel that can fire two or three rival rounds. And we'll get to that shortly here in our firing demo. But this is a really nice dump pouch to have for this loadout and it gives you the option of having those mega and other types of proprietary ammo. Uh, we got our stock front sight here, it's not used in this loadout. This is not used in this loadout either, this is the stock front muzzle. Eye Pro, always very important. Very nice touch of dart zone to put this in with this blaster. Always have Eye Pro when you're dealing with any type of blaster. Got our drum here, very innovative short dart drum design. You drop them in here, 
and it holds two. And because of these right here, they're not going to slide around or slot out. I did notice that these Adventure Force short darts tend to be a little more jiggly in here than the Dart Zone Max Arts that it comes with. But they still fire just fine, and they're not going to fall out of there. This is our barrel attachment for the worker suppressor. And I can slide this in here, and then this will fit on here, and then I can put the suppressor on here, which uh, looks great. This is preferred for, like, battles, so it's safety. You see the copper orange color on it. And then we have the other barrels, as I said. I'm going to slot up the Mega first. These barrels are courtesy of SM Enterprises. I'll have their link in my video description below as well. And they're selling Mega XL adapter barrels for this now as well. And as you can see, because of the rubber, uh, excuse me, rubber O-rings there, they slot right in. And looks really good there. So we'll take a shot of this Mega. This thing has, uh, we don't need to load much of anything. I'll show you the, the buttery smooth prime now on this blaster. Really nice. Feels really good. Look at our target here. And I'll see if I can line up the shot. And that was a direct hit in and out. Bounced in and out. This shoots hot. This blaster shoots around 160, 170 FPS out of the box. And you could add your scar barrel, whatever else you want, to probably improve that and take that up to even next level. So as you can see, it fired the Mega Dart. We'll remove this now. And we'll load up our missile. There's our missile. And again, this can be really nice for live battle, having all these options for your blaster. And all different types of proprietary ammo. So again, we got our buttery smooth prime here. So good. And we'll take this missile shot. Direct hit. Very nice. And then lastly, we will take our mega here. Excuse me, not our mega, our rival shotgun. I believe there's three rival rounds in here. That barrel out, put this one in. Swap it out real quick. Give it our prime. And here we go. And there it was. Uh, looks like there's only two shotgun rounds that time. But they did work as they were supposed to. And then, yeah, lastly, we've got my dart locker there with the different types of proprietary ammo. Carry that for this loadout. One good thing about this loadout is you don't need any mags. As I said, they are offering Talon mag adapters for this soon, so you can use a mag if you wish, which would actually be really great for keeping your capacity high, and rather than having to scavenge when your drum is out, you just swap it out for another Talon mag. I also understand that there's a rumor that Dart Zone may be offering more of these drums, so I think that would be really cool too. So now let's go ahead and load up the drum. To load up the drum, you want to prime it first, and then it has this little tab right here that slots right out like that and then you just kind of slide it right up in there it's really that easy and then you can uh, chamber your dart and take the shot again I'll show you here with this dart holder here it's really easy to just take a dart right out of here and load it right in there and then just like this you can top off and scavenge however you like and then you're ready to go with some more shots this blaster does have slam fire, as I just demonstrated there, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I'm extremely pleased with the Dart Zone Tomcat. One of the things I don't like is that you have to dry fire when you remove the drum. The Talon Mag adapter that they are offering soon is supposedly supposed to fix that. So one can only hope. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the Dart Zone Tomcat, everyone. Really great blaster. I love this loadout. Can't wait to get it in HVZ. I've got my patches on here. I've got everything I need to make it customized. And who needs a paint job when you have decals like this and uh, nice lines to work with? So again, I'll have all my details, all of these products in my video description below. Thank you all so much for watching. I still have my review of the Worker Phoenix 2.0 coming up. Stay tuned for that. And until next time, keep playing that foam, everybody.